I just looked at a very simple girl, not complicated, and uh, that actually attracted me to know more about her and to talk to her. He was the most handsome of all. The first thing that I, 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 I can say in Yekabisa it is because I love this lady dearly. Every time he tells me he loves me, I do cry. And I, do, and I do cry about him. I don't know why. But every time it's like, Abby, I love you. I hope I will contain it right now. My name is Abby Cherubet Ari. I've been married for seven years. Yeah, my name is David Ari. I've been married now for seven years with my beloved wife, Abby. What I liked about her when we met is that uh, I just looked at a very simple girl, uh, not complicated, and uh, that actually attracted me uh, to, you know, to know more about her and to talk to her. We met at a church meeting at Malava, Malava Boys. My first impression of David, uh, he was the most handsome of all the men who were inside there. Like I just saw this guy, and then I was so attracted to him. He was very handsome and was well dressed. Like um, his suits were well ironed, and uh, he was just very nice, very smart. Um, how I knew she was the one. You know, it's a long story. Um, because actually, yes, it started from there when uh, it was on a Friday and we were on the field after you know the, the meeting was ending so we were on the field and um, I was just sitting alone and then this uh, she came with another lady and uh, just found me there and said can we take a photo together and then I said okay fine uh, we can take though um, you know I'm blushing you know, something like that but uh, in real sense I really wanted to take a photo with them but uh, Later on, I took a photo. Uh, we talked a lot, but mostly while we were talking, I wanted to hear more from her. So, the, 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 you know, that's why uh, in, in the evening when I went back to bed and realized, like, is another. You know, you, you, you are picturing what you really talked about. Then you say, ah, in Akuna Kadem, Mali, no, na, something like that. So, that's how it happened. I'm sure then I just like that. How oh, I started dating him, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we started first of all by becoming friends. We were friends for almost one year, one good year. That is, we met at 2012, the end of 2012, December. And then the whole of 2013, we were friends. And then he would ask me questions. And, um, you know, it was I was first attracted to him, but I didn't show him. So during the friendship is when I got to know him better, and, uh, and now he started showing interest. We did a long distance relationship. I was in Loda because that's where I come from, and uh, she was in Meloret. Sometimes she could go home to Nandi, and then. Um, no, it was just like calling all the time, calling and calling and talking. So, but most of the time when I am out of work, I could just travel from Lodua to Eldoret then, uh, so that I can, you know, we can have more time to, to know one another, go visit places, uh, go for outings and other things. So, uh, I can't really say that, uh, uh, for me it was enjoyable, because, um, I can't say so much that probably there were hiccups here and here, yeah. But the truth is that it was enjoyable because uh, sometimes I feel like you know a long distance relationship uh, uh, has its actual defects. But um, for mine, mine was smoothly. It went on well because we we communicated. We used to communicate often. Asubui, kifika mchana, jioni, and at night all the time. Even before we sleep, we will talk up to late hours. And uh, it was like she was just close to me here, so it was nice. Challenges of the long distance relationship. Um, no, it was just fun. 
like um, having a long phone call in the evening like from 9 to 11 or 12 in the evening in the morning and then having to miss this person that you love and then yeah the most important thing is that the way we used to miss each other and the way I would really wait for him to come so it was me I, I felt like it was fun how we kept our relationship in check was the communication communication was the key and if we had an issue which we we had an issue maybe like let's say twice or once we would travel travel the same day we solve the issue and then it goes back but the most important thing is um, we used to communicate often like morning evening yeah um, you know when you love someone you 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 tend to miss that person you you will wish that she will be just closer to you and when you have some hiccups you have to make an effort and that's what we, we you know i used to do when we have a problem i will just travel all the way um, because I will not wish that, uh, you know, I become angry with her until the sun sets. For me, it was, uh, it was something, uh, you know, I couldn't stomach. So, I was stressed the whole day. I was stressed the whole Because, you know, there is somebody that you love, but I am in good terms. So, I have to amend this thing. I was stressed the whole day. I was stressed the whole when we decided that uh, we should settle down, but you know, everything started with a move. I was the one who made a move. Uh, that was around 20, uh, but that is 2013, uh, December, December. Then we talked. You know, sometimes she, I, I could call, and I was able to call So, uh, but when I called, you know, there was that, ah, uh, you know, that really made me, ah, then come my mother with this relationship, then why don't I make a move? Uh, then I asked her, so we can move to the next level than just, just becoming just friends like that, you know. And I said, okay. And then she said, hmm. Give me time, probably one or two days to think about it. Um, after, after those two days, she said yes. So and when she said yes, then we started now, you know, moving to the next level. I mean, that next uh, level, it was friendship as first. And later on, then, uh, you know, we moved to love us now. Yeah, moved to love us now. Uh, you know, that love that you felt when you are friends, now, you know, you now single it out to that one person that you really love and say, this. This is now the person that probably I'll, not even probably, but this is the person I will live my life with. Uh, uh, let me decide just to uh, make things go like this and uh, make it more, uh, you know, on the next grade of life. After two days of thinking, I said yes to the relationship, like we are now dating. And then um, that was 2013, December, and um, and then now we are we are in 2014 and we are now dating like dating like he's visiting or you're going for dates and lunch dates and stuff like that and uh, and then the, the following the, the next thing was the proposal yes you know we couldn't just move because um we were like you know we are church christians uh, people believe in marriage uh, and people who don't believe cohabitation that you know when if you have accepted uh, this lady now let her move and then you stay together no uh, we said we will have to go a process we will uh, personally in my life I just said no I will have to propose I will have to to you know do the, the, the engagement and then let on do the wedding and we, we become a family so we didn't actually move so uh, how I proposed. Uh, you say the day we met, the day he came and met me that great. <laughs> um, yeah, she has reminded me something. Um, you know, there was there was this you know initial part that uh, we had missed that uh, after we had uh, we had gone you know after the Malava meeting, uh, there's a day we met in Eldoret, 
And I think that's the day actually I really confirmed what I felt about her. Um, you know, I was still in school. I was in Baraton University, started studying there. So I, uh, I, you know, she told me she's in Eldoret Town. So I said, okay, let me come. It was on a, on a Friday. And that is, you now remember that Friday, that is, uh, there, there will be a holiday until uh, uh, Monday. So I traveled, came to Eldoret. You know, um, that, that first look uh, to her, uh, she was not just like the way she was that I met her last time in Malava. You know, in Malava, she was like, uh, this girl coming just from high school and uh, so, I was very beautiful. Actually, that, 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 that evening, I never went back to school. I slept in my friend's seven years home. So that tomorrow, I will meet her so that we go to church together. Because we, because we are Adventists, we go to Adventist church. So, uh, the whole night we could talk, we could talk, and I uh, could just say, you know, you are beautiful, you look nice, you know. Uh, you know. So, before this, so that is when now uh, the process started, until now I, I proposed to her. I was very scared. I, I wanted to run away, but my friend is like, Sigaribo. Personally, I wasn't that guy who is shy and for me, I could just talk and uh, say what I have in my mind. Then I told my mom, <coughs> you know, I mean my mother-in-law, uh, who is now my mother-in-law, I told her, no. we are just friends with uh, AB and um, if anything will happen, we will inform you. The proposal happened in the year 2014, 2014, yeah. Yes. July 1st. Uh, this year, he told me, for the past, like, 2013, we were friends. And July 1st is my birthday. And so he was like, this year, I must be there during your birthday. And then he kept reminding me that he will be there during my birthday. And then, so, um, on, like, Three days before my birthday, he's like, I'm going to Kakuma. Because he was a student and working at the same time. I'm going for a meeting in Kakuma. And I don't think I'll be there. So me, I'm like, this guy is telling me he's going after he had prepared me early. I was very prepared that he's coming and he'll be there. So I'm like, why? And he's like, it's a must that I go. So I'm like, tomorrow. Me, I'm like, <laughs> like, yani ni mm. So the, the birthday date, now it's the 1st July. I'm just sleeping. My, my friend is waking me up and telling me, let's just prepare and go somewhere. Me, I'm like, I don't feel like doing anything. Because he had told me he's going to hold a party for me. But now he had cancelled. And I'm like, I'm going to plan So I'm like, what's that? So my friend really insisted that we go out and he's really picking clothes for me to put on. Me, I'm telling her, why? I'm going to buy this and tune it. And then we have to look good. It doesn't matter if he's there or not, but we really have to look good. Nikakubali, so we, we Nikaba, and then we went. And she took me to Siriko Hotel. And then I'm like, how are you going to afford? Siriko by then it was it was a nice hotel in Eldoret. Yeah, <laughs> by then. So she she took me to Siriko Hotel and I'm like, how are you going to afford everything here? Because she was like, it's my treat. She was going to treat me. And um, so she took me, on reaching there, we were being directed to VIP and I'm like, what's happening? So entering there now is is just there. This kuna cake, he has friends there. And then the first thing they open the door is down there kneeling. Me almost felt like I wanted to run away. Kashanga, as you see, they're going to Kakuma. Then he was just down there kneeling, asking me to marry him. Yeah. Um, it was my arrangement. 
I, I had arranged with a friend uh, and I talked to her and then said, no, you know, to make something, you know, something unique at least, uh, in a way. You know, it wasn't actually a very big party for a proposal. I wanted to be very simple uh, because I, I really wanted not really to, you know, do other things that probably will show some, you know, other things. But I said, no, let it be very simple. What you make a visa is very simple, and uh, and because it's a birthday, uh, it's um, a birthday on the first uh, day of July. I said this is the right day to you know to to propose because we have stayed now for like 20 uh, the whole of 2013 we were just talking as friends, and this is 2014. Uh, it's almost ending. No, we have to do something. I have to do something. Two years is enough for, for you know for somebody to know somebody. Because I used to come uh, visit her. We used to go places. Used to talk. I could know you know I, uh, I I I now started knowing how you know what she likes, what she doesn't like. You know that one. So I said, no, this is the best person I want to stay with. So I said that day should be you know though not uh, really like kubwa uh, sana, but takwa tunzuri in my own way. So. I made it, I called some of my friends who wanted to summon our Shule Bara, Bara. then uh, we, had, we went to Sirikwa. I came actually one day earlier, so she didn't know that. While I was telling her, you know, I'm going to Kakuma for a meeting, uh, I was still in Eldoret by that time. <laughs> so, kama angekuwa na ile CCTV ya kujua mali niko, then ange nijua. But, nikakaa kwa, nikala kwa my cousin Stefania, nikala lapo, then we planned with, with him all this so that uh, what you do just tell him uh, you know uh, i will tell her i'm not coming completely no i'm not coming so that so that he was surprised quack. me i was scared i was still young but then i was i think i was 22 22 21 i was very scared i, I wanted to run away but my friend was like sit there and stand there so it was scary and i was at the same time, I was very happy, yeah, because it's like he's my first boyfriend. He was my first boyfriend, so I'm like, maybe I'm just going to end up like this, yeah. So I was happy and scared at the same time, yeah. The in in my my language we call it koito, just the engagement party. So we did the koito. In 2015, um, 2015 May, first, first May day. of 2015. So we took like um, five months. months. Yeah. Right, four. Yeah. No. Four months. Five. Five months. Eight months. We took eight months to do no, the. It was. It was on December. That is 2014. So then you have May, first May, 2015. Uh, I mean, I mean uh, December 2013. Mm -hmm. Then first May 2015. That is uh, five months. Four okay. months. Five. Four. Five months. I introduced him to my parents. I just told my mom I have a visitor. I was in Eldoret by then I was a student. And so she I told her I'm coming home to prepare because I have a visitor coming. Then I went home. She prepared the meals and then he was in Baraton. He was not in Lord, he was in Baraton. So he came with a friend called Bor. Came home and they really liked him. This is very mature, he's a Christian, and everybody liked him, yeah. So it, the introduction to my parents, it was, it was just nice and simple, yeah. And the first impression, the, the, how he portrayed himself, everybody liked him. We planned with that together, and then I told her, okay, I can come from school. I had a friend, we were studying together, he's called, I mean, he's called uh, Dan Zoboru, he's a Borana. We used to work together in campus and, and, and study. We studied the same course. So um, I told him, you know, I, I have, I'm going somewhere. And where I'm going is to, to my future in-laws. So I just want you to put on, put on a nice cloth and I mean on, 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 on a nice suit and then we go. And you know, Baraton to, to where they, they live, that is the, the home area. It's just like uh, from here to... Sit uh, from here to KICC. Okay, 
no, no. I think from here to just uh, town, yeah. So Nairobi town, that is the CBD place. So it was a very short distance. So uh, then we, then we got um, um, uh, I mean a uh, uh, friend, he had, he had a car at that time. Then I told Boru, okay, let's go. So the two, the two guys just went because it was just a visit. It, it, it wasn't something that we are going to discuss and say, you know, uh, I love your daughter. This is what I want. No, uh, just said uh, we were just coming to to see our friend uh, uh, because we, we she, you, though yeah she studies at Elorette and I'm studying here, but we are just friends. We're just friends. So then we, I, I talked with mom for some time because. Personally, I wasn't that guy who is shy and for me, I could just talk and uh, say what I have in my mind. Then I told my mom, <coughs> you know, I mean my mother-in-law, uh, who is now my mother-in-law, I told her, we are just friends with uh, AB and um, if anything will happen, we will inform you and probably we will send her to tell you that this is our intention. So we are just bad friends uh, and we are going to make that uh, very soon if God will wish, and it went like that. So we, it, it was nice. We, we were welcomed well. Uh, we received. He has a brother called uh, Amon. Uh, we, we talked with him, and then you know we took time and we stayed almost up to the evening time. Then we went back to school that time. So I left her. Well, after after him coming with a friend. So this day, we had not decided when will be the, the, the koito. He came and then now we planned that we're going to do the koito on. After, after him meeting my parents, we now plan that the koito will be on 1st May. Mm -hmm. In fact, the very day I told her, Yuzui, after you know we are, we, are, we are finished talking, we want to part ways and uh, I want to leave her at home and I go to school. I told her, you see, we need to talk. When, uh, when we are coming to do your engagement. Then we, say, we said no, because we are still also students. We need to look for a day, which is a bit, you know, uh, a free day for everybody. And then we, we chose first of May, that is on a Labor Day. We said at least on a Labor Day, whether to be on a Monday or on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday, then everybody will be free. Uh, if we have guys from home, they can travel. If we have friends around, they can come. But you put in a, or fix on a day like uh, Saturday, Sunday, or other days, uh, you know, people are really, uh, they have that, uh, they're busy because they have work to do. So we said, let us agree, put on. So and we agreed, and I went to school and I left her there. And uh, it went like that <laughs> until that first of May, the day of engagement. It was, it was so nice. Like, was fulfilling like I couldn't believe that is me is getting married you know as in talents or in Nandi in particular after the koito it's like you are you've been married off whether you do the wedding or not you don't belong there anymore so it was it was emotional it was a happy day yeah I had mixed feelings but the most important thing is that I was happy yeah I was happy that I was now going. Me being the firstborn, I was now getting married. Yeah. After after the koito, we now started planning for a wedding. Now he goes to his home, tells his people that he has somebody. Because in his home, it is different from where I come from. Koito doesn't mean anything from his where he comes from. It doesn't mean anything. So he was the one who was now planning everything because after the quarter was now his responsibility fully, yeah. So we started planning for the wedding, of which we did the wedding in 2016. The pre wedding we did it in 2015. But remember, the first thing that I, 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 I can say in your cabeza, I made it it is because I love this lady dearly. What I admired most about him is. He's very forgiving. Like you can do something, then you're wondering how did, why did he forgive me? Like I usually ask him, why are you like this? I 
after that day of uh, Koito, it was a good day. Actually, you know, after I talked with my mother-in-law, uh, we talked a lot. And uh, after we had talked, um, you know, she just knew at onset that this gentleman does not want to play and joke around with, with, with my daughter. And then she told me, what are the plans that you have? I told her, you know, before I, before I take her, I have to do all the requirements that is needed. So uh, if it is Koito, I am coming for Koito very soon. And uh, if it is for, and you remember Mimi, I am a Christian. I have to do a, a white wedding, that's a church wedding. So uh, then when that day came first of, uh, I prepared my guys. We had guys uh, in school whom we were studying. And I told them, oh, guys, too much vizuri, then we we'll plan for that. To Kachukwa Gari Karibu Statu Apone, to Kelekea, there's a place called Captel, to Kelekea Pale. And we found them ready for us. Uh, then I had uh, brought my, 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 my uncle, my auntie, and my mom. They were all there. Uh, my father was a bit far, he, he wasn't around. But uh, my mother was there just to, to, to represent. So, and he sent his brother, my uncle, to, 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 to talk on, on my, I mean, on the family's behalf. So we went there and uh, we were there they were starting from around, uh, it, it was 10, yeah, from 10. Kaingia, to Kalisho Mali, to Kidogo, then Wakakuja, to Kambio, that's actually ready to engage in Dana Nyumba, so that to Ongele, to Ongele, Mamboya. Yeah, Mahari. Uh, but you know, before they, uh, before we agreed, they had to, 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 you know, to bring and, and say, you know, we need to identify the girl you are really saying that you want to marry. So, wakaleta mungine alikuwa naitua chero rafiki yake. Kasema siyo huyu apana. Wakaleta mungine, kasema apana siyo huyu. So, walipomuleta, then uh, I organized. So, because already I had, uh, I had proposed, uh, yeah, so, hapo zaza ni kamuambia ni uyu, ni, ni, ni kamupalisha saa. Ujiyo saa, ujiyo saa, ujiyo saa, ujiyo saa, ujiyo saa. Nilikuwa zanzi. So, so kamuambia, this is the one. Just to, to tell you about this, uh, you know, to make them know I recognize the one that I'm, I'm looking for in this family. So, that's how it went, and uh, tukaka hapo, to, mimi at that time, mimi zikuwa naongea. Mimi likuwa nakatu kando huku. Just listening. And they were consulting me because, uh, <laughs> yeah, my uncle was saying, I don't know how to get up. Watch out to get up. I don't know how to get up. But actually, it uh, was very good. We agreed on the bride price to come to After that, uh, we had a church function, a small one. Uh, a talk from the area pastor was there to counsel us uh, in front of people na wakatuzungumzia akahubiri akamaliza and then we had that dancing and eating like that lakini uko ndani pia nilikula mursik ile yao <laughs> which was very nice so actually it was a good day and to kamaliza around 5 when you uh, actually the way she says that in kalenjin ukishafanya kwa ito this is your your woman huyu ni wako hakuna tayari what they are waiting ni mari tu kwa mnagani kuja so, mimi ni kazama no, uh, just like the way I had put my stand first, kwamba mimi ni mkrisa na EPN, we are all Christians, mimi ni tafanya aru, aruzi. I will not take her now, right now. Though, starting from there, my, my responsibility started. Uh, the, the, that responsibility of, uh, she's in school, I have to do one, two, three, because now, wazoza mazama wako huyu ni mka wako, so she kulika na maishe, na maishe, so I said, okay, it's fine. So, could pay rent, uh, could come visit, but I said, uh, even school fees, I started paying school fees for her. So, later on, I'm <laughs> sure, yeah, paid school fees. So, that's a Malaysia issue. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, actually, because we were still schooling, Nikamuambia, it's good for us to finish school. Already, I have already marked you. There's nothing that can change. We have proved ourselves all these years. We have stayed together. Probably we had one or two, but we have solved it later. Sayitu na ka vizuri ya niya, okay. I don't see anybody ya kunini. So let us just 
plan this wedding. Slowly by slowly, that he find even zoo, even zuri. When you plan, and say, let us finish school first. So maybe nika nika maliza shule. Nika uh, maliza shule that is uh, on the December of 2015. Nika maliza shule. Na yeye alikuwa na endelea kidogo. Nika mambe okay. Kuangu mimi mimi ni mzuri ni maliza shule. Ata kama wana endelea, but a man lazima maliza wain. Haja ni ocha ni maliza shule so that I may be able to support you as we move forward. So nika maliza shule then. I think from January I now started planning that wedding. Pamoja na yeye, tukapanga panga, tukapanga, tukipanga, toa hii, shuguli kia hapa, shuguli kia hapa. And by itare kuminambili mwuzu wane, we were married couple. I've learned a lot of things. Um, what I've learned is, after marriage, sometimes things, vitus will change, things change, changes. There are some changes after marriage. And uh, the most important thing in marriage is understanding one another. And um, if he understands me, I can actually give him. Challenges I faced in my marriage, um, yeah, uh, I will not say that marriage is a bed of roses. Because uh, when you talk about marriage, there's nobody who is an expert of it. And uh, there's, it's, it's, you know, it's a school of its own. It's a school of its own. You, you, you get inside it, you have to learn. You have to learn. And um, to, to sustain a marriage, uh, you know, takes an effort. Takes an effort of the two of you, the two individuals who are together. You must build it. You must understand that I, you know, I have a family. I have. I am married to somebody. Uh, I, I have a responsibility as a man. I have a responsibility. I have a responsibility to love. I have a responsibility to take care. I have a responsibility to make sure that everything is, you know, in place. So I, I, I won't say that, you know, my marriage was. I mean, has been rough or what? No. What I will just say, it's been like any other fair marriage that uh, anyone can wish to be. Because uh, when I married her, I first of all understood her. Yeah, that's one thing that I really helped me. You know, understanding. Uh, we normally tell people, you know, when you are in, I mean, from the council that we normally get, you are told, you know, when you are married, remember you are the one uh, leading your family. You will lead your family very well or you will destroy it also. Uh, but, you know, by your irresponsibility and, you know, but when you take care of your responsibilities and do what is required for you as a man, uh, things will flow, and that is what I've been doing all through, uh, all through these years that we have been together. I cannot say that we, we didn't quarrel. We have we, sometimes we could quarrel, uh, sometimes we could get angry to one another. But you know, there's that love that binds you together, that makes you. Yeah, if you look like this, okay, what's a kwanza cool kidogo, actually cool. Though you see muda kukul, and taka mambo igongwe right there. <laughs> Na mimi ni mtu uluwande uh, okay tuke kwa sana probably I will want to, to have my own moment to think about it but uh, it was nice after I understood okay ni mtu anataka mambo I solve fear sayo hapo na hapo then kama kuna kwa sana then sit down and we talk about it na tuna na na inaisha and uh, we can go out for a makeup uh, to use to kukula kitu kizuri mahali <laughs> like that so uh, it's nice uh, Marriage is about two people uh, who love one another, who decide to, you know, we have to fight for this thing. We have to, because there are challenges there. Sometimes when children get in, you know, there are challenges, uh, uh, so many challenges. Like we have friends who probably doesn't want you to, to be well. Uh, we have uh, financial challenges. We have, uh, you know, plus, plus so many challenges that are always facing couples. But on those challenges, we have to understand. But one thing I will not forget, that it also takes, also, in a marriage. Though it takes two, it also takes the two of you to understand one another. If you don't understand and know the weaknesses and what that person likes or dislikes, then it will be a problem. It will be chaos. Nah, that, that marriage will never last. But this of one hours, uh, but remember, the first thing that I, 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 I can say in your cabeza, it is because I love this lady dearly. So some, you know, the Bible says that uh, love does not 
kuna vile vile nasema kwamba you know upendo aisitiri maovai yote yani inaangalia anything that you know the other partner does as just a mistake uh, ambayo pengine inafanyika tu accidentally and uh, because i understand she is human and i'm human when we understand like that then we know we can fall into mistakes uh, sometimes za kukasirisha or unkasirishe but that should not be the end of everything and everything should be that kwamba we have a family we we love one another and we should just get this out of these obstacles to something better what thing i won't really say that uh, probably there's that thing i could have learned earlier you know sometimes when you learn some weaknesses early probably you will say let me cancel this i would want i would not want to go to this because there's this weakness uh, i had first of all stayed with her for all those years and i had known that uh, she's a bit i mean temperamental usi <laughs> unajua uh, but sasa nikatafuta mbinu ya ku ya kuhakikisha kwamba this temperament zake like kasira kidogo nini i will know to cool and uh, i did that by sometimes like pick a kelena to me na nyamaza and i kept my face uh, upright na ina toshe so but initially i was mimi uh, probably I, 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 i had wanted like you know you have somebody who just cool utake because you know men doesn't really need a lot of kelele na mambo mengi but you see that one could not because of the love that was there that one could not buy you from you know finding a way to make sure that you blend with her you you, you even if a kona she the flan probably ama kona strength flan probably and you 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 can see that strength i mean that weakness come but see you ni ile you don't see ile kwa gawa because they are, they are more about this lady yo apart from her beauty then she is good in heart uh you know like that she's good in heart she's compassionate uh, she's very supportive uh, so like that so then you say no e ndajua vile ndapana mna gani then it has gone well uh, we are living on well na sio tikin class ikundi ana ako ina ako na hiyo no it's sometimes when i kama yani when i have also maybe done some wrong in my mkaziri so it's like that so and life is that way Her mother most of what is, is very forgiving like if you can do something then you're wondering how did why did he forgive me like I usually ask him why are you like this and then he does things to make me happy like in just during our anniversary which was last week I was telling him why are you doing everything to please me do sometimes consider yourself like he does everything he does is to please me and to make me happy so that is the most important thing about him and then the next thing is i've said is is forgiving at with you utashanga mbona kuna kitu unaweza fanya and then is yes just forgive me just like that and you're wondering but the next thing is 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 a good father yeah like is a very good father like we have two boys Levi and Laram but ever each one of them when they were born I even don't know how to wash a newborn to bed is don't know does everything yeah from the first born to the second born it does everything for them like it does everything to make us happy yeah so that is what I admire most about him yeah yeah probably before you were answer that uh, she talked about loving the boys I love the boys so much and even sometimes when uh, like this last one when he was born i was i told the doctor i will be there and i was there we went to theater i, I mean not to theater but to the delivery room together mimi na daktari peke yake and we did the delivery na pokea mtoto naenda nayo eh huyu ndio na huyu ndio agozi ya mtu mwingine and then one thing i don't know if it's normal but every time he tells me every time he tells me he loves me yeah I do cry. And I and I just about children. I don't know why. But every time it's like baby I love you. I hope I will contain it right now but uh, it's like that. Um cuz um you know when you love someone you really love that person. Yeah na sipendi kukosana eh. That's one thing I really hate. Nikijua tu 
I am not okay with her even if I am I am very far. And I, that that day I will not really work well. And I will work well having stable mind when I am in good terms with her. But when I'm not in good terms, probably even in my mind, I cannot work actually well. So and that is why um, uh, I have to do all it takes. For a woman you love, you have to do everything to make sure that she's happy. Yeah, and that's our love story. Uh, that's how it has been. And we will continue like that. By God's grace.